Hi everyone, welcome back to the episode of Ask Dr. Nick. My name is Dr. Nick Schmilikoffer and I work for the Neurologic Wellness Institute. And on today's episode, we're gonna answer the question, can honey improve dental cavities? Or can honey improve um, oral microbiome health? And uh, the quick answer, the short answer is yes, it probably can. There's still studies that need to be, uh, or more studies that need to be run, but we have a lot of studies that are showing the benefits of raw, unprocessed honey on the oral microbiome and preventing cavities. So I wanna start this one by saying I am not a dentist. Um, I do not treat anything teeth related, um, but um, I have done research on it and I'll show an article here in a sec about how good raw, unprocessed honey can be used to improve dental cavities. At the same time, um, I grew up as an individual who loved to eat a lot of sugar. Um, then when I transferred, and it had a lot of cavities. And then when I transferred kind of away from sugar, but uh, was either eating like the ketogenic diet with a lot of uh, greens and, and other vegetables, uh, I was still getting cavities. And then it wasn't until I went on the carnivore diet where I was eating more liver and like high fat soluble vitamins, whether that's vitamin A, vitamin K2, vitamin D, um, that my dental cavities started to improve or that I um, was not getting any more cavities. And I have started doing honey as well on my teeth um, as a way to improve my oral microbiome and help eliminate some of the um, the plaque formation that can form from certain bacteria. So um, I want to get into this article, and we will chat about uh, about how honey can be beneficial for oral health. And so the the uh, title of this article is "Antibacterial and Antibiofilm Effect of Honey in the Prevention of Dental Caries." It's a recent perspective. I'm pretty sure this is a 20, 2022 article. Um, in August and so basically what this means is that um, the honey can prevent bacterial formation and can prevent how bacteria is kind of form together um, to make biofilms and biofilms is what cause plaques and what basically makes it more difficult to kill bacteria um, and honey can basically prevent those two things and dental caries is just another term for dental cavities okay so in the abstract it talks about how honey is has been a successful application in wound management. So basically it has antibacterial effects and if you cut yourself, you can put honey on it to have the antibacterial effect, which is pretty cool. Um, now, there has been increasing usage of honey in dental medicine as a preventative or therapeutic remedy for some of the periodontal diseases. Periodontal meaning the, um, the tooth and bone that attaches to the tooth. Um, mainly associated with bacteria such as dental caries, gingivitis when the gums are receding and get inflamed, and mucositis. Um, so the purpose of this review is to emphasize the antibacterial and antibiofilm effects of honey. Um, although there are promising antibiofilm effects of honey and have been reported mainly against Streptococcus mutans, the main one of the main um, um, the main pathogens that can form in the gut in the uh, oral microbiome. These results are limited to very few studies. Okay, and then honey significantly reduces dental plaque. However, it is not superior to the conventional agent. Um, conventional agent meaning um, possibly fluoride and some other things. Um, despite the positive effects, there has to be more clinical effectiveness. Uh, looking at more clinical studies, looking at the effectiveness of honey. So real quick on uh, fluoride. Fluoride is known to be a neurotoxin. That is, uh, that is uh, pretty obvious advice, um, pretty obvious in the literature. And fluoride does kill bacteria, but it kills all bacteria. While um, the honey might be able to save some of the oral microbiome and therefore help with the overall community of the uh, oral microbiome. That's why we're talking specifically about honey versus, um, and not really mentioning fluoride. Um, I could do another video on fluoride if people are suggesting it. So if we go down a little bit in this article, we can just show why honey can do this. So honey is composition. So honey is super saturated in sugars. We know that everyone thinks of honey as just a sugar, a simple sugar. But um, 
So 20% of its product is not sugar. It's amino acids that make up proteins, peptides that make up proteins, other proteins and enzymes, acids, lactones, minerals, and polyphenols. Um, they all affect the taste, color, and aroma. And so if we look at the antibacterial effect of honey, we know that a low pH and water activity and a high sugar content um, that is contained in honey, you would think that it would cause increase in dental cavities. But hydrogen peroxide, glucuronic acid, and other antimicrobial proteins have been identified to have antibacterial effects of honey. Um, and so they kind of talk about all those. Um, if we look at this table here, you have these different antibacterial factors, MRJP1, defense in one, hydrogen peroxide, glucuronic acid, MGO, which have been shown to target specific bacteria. They're almost all positive against gram positive and gram negative bacteria, just two different types of bacteria in your mouth. The only one is glucuronic acid is not working or not effective against gram positive. Um, they disrupt cell wall integrity. They decrease bacterial cell wall um, hydrophobicity, basically the ability for it to just sit in fat, uh, and disruption of cell membranes, um, the destruction of cell wall integrity, the uh, membrane depolarization and destruction, uh, kills it through oxidative stress. So many factors there about how the components in honey can be beneficial. At the same time, the quality of honey matters. Okay, so if we go down to, I think it's this page, Honey quality matters, okay? So honey is intended for sugar, for human consumption, uh, precisely defined by composition criteria, including the sugar, the moisture, the water, uh, insoluble solids, uh, and all those other components we talked about. Um, honey needs to be fulfilled in that, okay? But ideally, um, honey also needs to be raw and unprocessed. So raw and unprocessed means that it's not really heated, um, it's not doesn't have added sugars into it. Uh, it is completely raw uh, off the off the bee pollen, okay? or sorry, off the um, off the honeycomb, right? Okay, so now this goes through so many different studies on how honey in some preclinical studies um, and clinically can be beneficial, but there's still not enough evidence. So if we look at this, so. Um, let's see if I can improve this a little bit. For looking at a honey treated tooth versus a untreated tooth, okay? So untreated is on the right, honey treated is on the left. Uh, untreated, we know that dental plaque biofilm can form. So again, this is multiple bacteria that are forming to form a biofilm. And that basically is this, this protective layer that the bacteria form. Uh, enamel can erode, demineralization of the bone can happen. There's another biofilm. And also we can have regression of the gums uh, and inflammation of the gums. With a honey-treated tooth, there is inhibition of the bacterial adherence, strengthening of the enamel, um, killing these planktonic bacterial pathogens uh, through hydrogen peroxide defensins, and it inhibits the gingivitis that can lead to periodontal disease or basically diseases of the root of the tooth and the bone of the tooth. Um, again, all super important in managing oral health and preventing cavities. And as the kicker, um, we know that there are a lot of chronic infections that can cause Alzheimer's that start in the mouth and then get make their way into the brain either through the blood, uh, possibly through the nasal cavity and the nerves there, uh, many different ways. And so we know we want to have good oral health as we age. So um, I know this was an interesting one, kind of uh, controversial in that honey is a sugar and you would think is going to cause cavities, but honey, as you can see, has antibacterial and antibiofilm effects. It can improve um, your oral microbiome health and it can help prevent uh, diseases in the long term. By no means, again, I'm not a dentist. You probably should brush and floss um, and do everything else your dentist says. But if you want, run this by them, see if they think good raw natural honey can be good for your microbiome health. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. If you have any suggestions for future topics, I would love to hear them. Thanks again and have a great day. Stay healthy.